Harry and Meghan were at Diddy freak-off parties and were taped? Prince Harry's name has been mentioned in court documents related to allegations. Sean Diddy Combs sexually abused multiple people. I feel this situation just got worse. I don't know if you guys know this. So, everybody's seen the video. I'm pretty sure everybody's... As Sean Diddy Combs sits behind bars awaiting trial on federal sex trafficking and racketeering charges, we take a deep dive into the growing list of high-profile celebrities charged with sexual misconduct. Listen up. There's a big rumor going around about Prince Harry that's got everyone talking. Word is, he's been caught in some wild videos from Diddy's famous parties, and they aren't just casual party snaps. It's said that these clips show Harry in some situations that might shake things up for the royal family. He's apparently trying to keep all of this hidden, but you know how it goes. Secrets always come out eventually, and this one could be a game changer. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hope you guys didn't have your lunch because the idea of this is so gross. Now, I don't believe this. I know a lot of you probably want to believe this. I know she, we think she's done a lot in her past, but Harry doing it with Megan and Diddy? That's a lot to believe. Now, there's a spin to this article. Now, Jaguar Wright is someone who has reported on the Diddy stuff. If you haven't been following the Diddy case, you should be following it over on Popcorn Planet. It's getting intense. Everybody is being sort of accused, complicit. Uh, these tapes are now being shopped around Hollywood. It's bad news. In fact, we have a live later today where apparently 100 plus new victims are coming forward. Make sure not to miss it. We'll be live probably at the time you're taping this. Come over to Popcorn Planet and watch us. Now, this article is getting spinned by Radar saying that Meghan and Harry are overjoyed at the Royals being dragged into this Diddy scandal, even though they were added into it as well, but they're sort of avoiding that and saying, well, it's Prince Andrew in the freak off tape is the one that's real. Now it's easy to sort of assume that if you, you know, have heard the previous allegations against Prince Andrew. I know a lot of people have come forward sort of starting to defend him saying these accusers that were there calling him out actually haven't been honest at the same time. It's hard to defend Prince Andrew after that interview where he just keeps denying his relationship with Jeffrey. It's, it's gross. It's a bad look. I, I don't trust the guy. I, I know what happened. To each their own. Uh, he hasn't been charged, uh, but something seems off. That said, I wouldn't be surprised if he was caught in a freak off tape with Diddy. It is a similar sort of friend, Jeffrey and Diddy, similar types of people as we're learning. And uh, Radar and Line is now revealing that Duke and Duchess are apparently planning to use Andrew's alleged ties to Diddy to justify their decision to leave the firm and turn their backs on the royal family. I mean, they already left the firm. They've already turned their backs. They don't need Prince Andrew's freak off tape to justify it, but let's let's hear it. An insider tells us Harry and Meghan have spent years being vilified by the royal family. Now it's being alleged that Prince Andrew could be facing yet another scandal. They are rubbing their hands in glee. Eh, they're 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 called out too though so if you want to just believe the andrew part well then you got to believe the part that says you're in it too and that's what it actually says jaguar Wright lifted the lid off who she believes might be featured in these rumored freak off tapes she listed more than a dozen names ranging from jennifer lopez to usher she claimed most people will be most shocked by the politicians and royal family members she alleges were caught on camera attending diddy's illicit parties. She said, quote, I think what will shock people are the politicians and the royals that were on that tape. And I'm still trying to figure out when Harry and Meghan are going to be honest about their freak off tape. Now, you might be wondering, how wild could these parties be? Let me tell you, Diddy's parties are legendary and Prince Harry was right in the middle of it all. Imagine a mansion with music blasting, champagne everywhere and no rules. That's where Harry found himself. He wasn't just hanging back. Word is he was fully embracing the vibe. And the guest list? Big names from all over, models, actors, and a mix you wouldn't expect to see with royalty. Let's just say this wasn't your typical royal gathering. Keeping my lunch in. Oh God. It's the last thing I want to watch is that that ginger in a tape like that. <laughs> no offense to gingers out there. Anyway, sorry. Let me, let me move on. Wright continued, I don't think anybody really wants to talk about the fact that the royal family had many times at the Diddy 
many times at the Diddy parties, especially that weirdo uncle. Despite her claims, it's believed Harry and Meghan have never met Diddy. Look, this is the reality. There's been no proof. Harry and, and uh, William met Diddy and Kanye at a Diana Memorial event. The pictures have always been out there, but there's no proof that they ever actually went to any parties. Neither has Meghan that we can prove. There's also no suggestion of any figures right left in the video have been involved in any wrongdoing. Still, insiders have been rocked by the celebs and they're quaking in their boots. It's true. A lot of celebrities are getting worried. In a 2011 uh, in appearance in the Graham Norton show, the disgraced mogul said he hoped to have Harry and William as guests at one of his infamous bashes, implying that they hadn't been there since 2011. Diddy said at the time before when they were young bucks growing up and they were getting in a lot of trouble themselves. So, hey, I was like, why don't you come hang out with me? Trust me, they're on the list. I think they meant to say on the list. Why would they be off the list if you're inviting them? Uh, Harry and William were once seen together with Diddy in 2007. That's the, in the images that have gone around. But that was at the Princess Diana Memorial Concert. They were performing. It was in the Wembley Arena. It wasn't at a Diddy freak-off party. It's not believed either of the princes have ever made it to one of Diddy's parties. Now, that's where a lot of you are going to just disagree with me. You're going to say, oh, no, they were, Andy, they were. I, look, it's possible, I guess. It's possible, but I, I need more proof before I go there. Even with Prince Andrew. Yeah, I, I don't like Prince Andrew. He's an idiot to me. Just an absolute bozo. That interview, the scooped interview. Oh, my gosh. Was it with uh, Matthias? What was her name? It's it's the tough watch. He looked so guilty in that interview. Uh, so clueless. Uh, there have been a couple movies now about that making of that interview. And he, it just, what a bozo. That said, some of the allegations that have come forward, it doesn't seem like have been completely honest. Does that mean he's completely innocent? I mean, he is innocent until proven guilty, but would I want to like defend his honor fully? No, I wouldn't. Am I going to go criticize him further? No, it, it is what it is. It is, you know, what else can we do? Would I be surprised to see him though at a Diddy party, given how close he was with Jeffrey? No, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Now her calling him the weirdo uncle, not proof. This idea that, and to quote her, if, if, if Harry and Meghan want to gleefully rub their hands saying that, oh, Prince Andrew's now in another scandal, well, so are you. Because the same source said, I'm still trying to figure out when Harry and Meghan are going to be honest about their freak off tape. How would you have known about that? Like, I, this person seems to be out there just saying names. And I'm all for, you know, making speculation from time to time if there's a connection. But I don't see any connection. As much as I would love to... <laughs> put my fingers in glee at seeing Harry and Meghan be exposed in that kind of way uh, because I feel like they are charlatans and, and, and so on. Uh, I just don't see any proof, guys. I don't see any proof that they would go do that. And the idea of it is not only gross, but just seems so unrealistic that Harry would join Meghan at a yacht party, let alone a Diddy party. And then what? Are they, who? What? It, it's too much for me. I, I know a lot of you don't like these two, but it's too much for me. Uh, but this is the rumors that are now heading out there. So uh, do I believe they're enjoying when the royal family gets you know, put through the coals? Absolutely. Do I think they're overjoyed when they get dragged into these scandals? Yes, they clearly do. They, they created their own scandals and lies to drag them over the coals then. So of course they would be into that. Uh, so uh, not surprised at that part of it, but it's weird that they would be overjoyed by a source saying Andrew was there but the same source mentioned they're there and they're just like, well, we weren't there, but Andrew, yeah, yeah, that one's real. They're either both real or it's not real and this person doesn't know what she's talking about. That's the reality here. So I do find it interesting that, yeah, apparently they believe, according to the source, that Andrew's there and the source is telling the truth. And if the source is telling the truth, well, then it sounds like you were there too. So what do you guys think? That's what I want to hear. Do you really think it's possible? that these two would have made a freak off tape with Diddy at one of Here's where things get even more intense. The videos reportedly show Harry in some situations that could cause a huge stir back at Buckingham Palace. They say this footage could totally flip his image as a down to earth guy. And if these clips leak, they might put his carefully crafted everyday family man vibe in serious danger. There's talk that one clip even shows him in a heated dance off with a mystery woman and it's not exactly ballroom dancing. Just look at the front page of The uh, the Sun today. He's making headlines there. He's been named in a, a US court documents relating to the rapper P. Diddy, 
whose real name is Sean Coombs. Yeah, the court documents filed in the US mention guests were drawn to Coombs' alleged sex trafficking parties because of his so-called access to celebrities and international dignity, dignitaries, which included the likes of Prince Harry. Uh, let's go to uh, Royal and Showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield on this one. So Harry's been named. What will this mean for him and his wife? Well, I have to be honest with you. It looks like Prince Harry's being thrown under the bus here. And, you know, I am uh, I'm willing to criticize Prince Harry when it's appropriate. If you want to talk about his African Parks charity, I've got all day. Uh, but in this particular case, it seems like the the accuser here, um, who is a producer named Rodney Lilrod Jones, who filed this $30 million lawsuit in February, is trying to get attention by dropping some of these bigger names like Prince Harry's into this documentation, trying to say that Prince Harry gave P. Diddy credibility. Now, the only time Prince Harry and P. Diddy are photographed together is in 2007 at an event honoring Princess Diana. The last time I could find Sean Combs talking about Prince Harry is in 2011 during a Graham Norton interview where he, he's joking and he clearly has no relationship with him. There's no proof that Prince Harry has nurtured any type of relationship with Sean P. Diddy Combs. Uh, and as somebody that's worked for Diddy, I can assure you that he doesn't need Prince Harry um, when it comes to, you know, any any sort of cool points uh, over the years. I've, I've never seen him have to name drop. He was always Diddy. Rewind a minute there. You worked for him or with him? Uh, yeah, I threw a party for him uh, for Ciroc Vodka. And, um, you know, I, I never had any issues with him. I'm very lucky in that regard. I, I, I don't have anything negative to say about him. Obviously, these accusations are appalling, um, but I'm a good girl. So he probably not, knew not to do anything like that around me. Mm. Um, but, the, the, you know, this is all over the news here. He is accused of sex trafficking in multiple sex assault lawsuits uh, with raids on multiple houses on Monday by Homeland Security with them seizing electronics and interviewing four Jane Doe's and one John Doe, uh, the New York prosecutors in connection with sex trafficking and uh, a racketeering investigation. So similar to R. Kelly and very serious allegations. Um, it's interesting you were talking about the picture that Prince Harry was photographed next to um, P. Diddy. I think Prince William's also in that picture and interesting that he's managed to completely uh, avoid being mentioned in all this just as well, given what's going on for him at the moment. But um, I wonder why um, this particular claimant has gone after or name decided to pick on, on Prince William. Uh, Prince Harry, sorry. I think I think it's because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are headline grabbers all over the world. And it, it was in it's you know, you just it's guaranteed press. It's going to guarantee that you end up on the cover of The, the Sun. Uh, and I think ultimately this accuser is is looking for a payday. And, and I'm not saying that P. Diddy is innocent. I don't know uh, what the truth is here, but I can tell you based on past experience with his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, he settled that. I believe it was just one day after that court filing when it came to a 2017 chef that alleged that P. Diddy was inappropriate with her. Uh, he settled that two years later. So he has a history of settling these cases. You know, blow this up and you could potentially get a great payday. So, of course, you're going to want this splashed across all the newspapers. And Prince Harry is a great way to do that. Well, I think it's great talking to you, having worked with him, having yeah. no, knowing how his name is pronounced, as I was pronouncing <laughs> it this morning and told I was wrong. Um, it's spelt combs, as in a comb through your hair. It should be pronounced, if it was in Ireland, it would be combs. But uh, here, the young folks say, I what, Isabel? I thought Coombs, so I checked with the youngsters in the newsroom. They're all like Coombs. But maybe they're too young to really know about Diddy as well. You... If you thought that was intense, there's more. Harry's supposedly doing everything he can to keep these videos under wraps. Late night calls, secret meetings with PR experts, he's pulling out all the stops. He might even have to rely on the royal family to help him out, but that could come with a cost. And what does this mean for his new life with Meghan? They've been trying to build a positive, socially conscious image, but if these videos come out, it could cause major issues for their brand. Yeah, man. Uh, anybody who in law enforcement or people know the law, when Homeland Security ran up into his house, uh, people will tell you or people knew 
that it was just a matter of time that they was going to indict him and bring him in uh, to see the judge, bro. It was just a matter of time. Uh, I just figured out with the grand jury and their different sessions and stuff like that, and then what uh, one of the uh, witnesses told me, I just figured it out that it was gonna be around September that they were gonna bring him in, bro. Um, this is, it's, people might not understand. It's difficult when you see a brother that has so much promise become an icon as far as in the music business and stuff that he did uh, to turn around and uh, just tear his whole life down. But it's all because of his mentors and the people that trained him and taught him the music business. You know, it's all about the people who trained and taught him the music business because Puff wasn't, um, uh, uh, he wasn't born a monster. You know what I'm saying? He was made into a monster, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was made into a monster from the stuff that happened to him, the things that he had to do. You understand? The things that he had to do to become who he is. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like this, brother. You never like something so much that you can't do without and you never be willing to do anything to get where you want to be at. You got to have principles, you got to have morals, you got to keep with that stuff. And in that music business, a lot of that stuff get thrown out the window. You understand? And that's what happened to him. He started doing the things to other people that was done to him. To keep it frank, he was doing the things to other people that was done to him. And it is what it is. You got to know better. And if you know better, you will do better. When he was in New York City, he was like that gecko from the Geico commercial. Then he turned and start uh, going, when he lived in Cali and Miami, he turned into Godzilla. I would see him talk about how he using drugs. He was never like that. Smoking cigarettes, smoking weed and everything like that. He turned into something that you could consider a monster, bro. Then he started doing things to people. You understand that he learned. That's a learned behavior, bro. Now, I'm not saying that he may have been doing a couple of things here and there with women, stuff like that in New York, but the things that they're talking about that he was doing, bringing in prostitutes to have sex with his girl and all that stuff like that, that was some crazy stuff to me, man. So I'm just looking at this whole thing, man. And um, you had asked me, and, and we don't have these conversations like most people do. We gonna go back and you gonna tell me what, uh, uh, we gonna talk about this. You said, I'm gonna ask you how you feel, bro. I don't wanna, I don't want no man to ever go to jail and be leaving their kids behind, be leaving their family behind. You understand? But some dudes belong in jail based on what they do and how they do it. We know that to be true. And it's just this situation, man, um, when they get down to all the facts and all what happened, he may belong in jail, bro. And that's not my doing. That's not Cassie doing. That's his doing and his learned behavior from the people that mentored him. You gotta realize, man, you gotta, you, you, he learned from Andre Harrell. He learned from Russell Simmons. He learned from Clyde Davis. You understand? When those people are, 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 are telling you that they were in heavy into the drugs, they was heavy into beating women and doing things at that age, at, at that crazy stage, that's gonna make him think that he could get away with the same thing that they was getting away with back then. You understand? The things that he was saying, you know, the touchy-feely between two men and all that stuff like that, man. All that's, he learned that from them dudes. When I told y'all the story, when me and my man went up to Russell Simmons and he had a house and he had a, a, um, a man in bikini drawers in his bedroom, in his bed. You understand? Bruh, this is, 
that Harry's lawyers are also working overtime to keep these clips from going public, sending out cease and desist letters left and right. But in today's world, it's tough to control what's already out there. Rumor has it, Buckingham Palace is getting involved to protect their image. They might even pull Harry back under the royal wing to keep him in line. The suspense is real. What else might be in those videos? I personally feel like he got a lot of the things that he did from his mentor, and then he probably uh, 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 did it to the to the tenth power. You understand? Uh, Russell Simmons admitted that he was a drug abuser. You understand? Uh, Russell Simmons meet that he used to put his hands on women. So it's alert behavior, bro. Some of that stuff may be in him through his childhood. Through his childhood, he may have some of that things in him, but. A lot of things that he was doing was a learned behavior, bro. You just don't, you just don't just, just turn it in, in a matter of years, the way he was doing people, man. You understand? Check this out, bro. He led Biggs to his death. He caused the rift between Wolf and BMF that led to Wolf death. Cuss Wolf mother out. Lied about owing him 300,000. Cause you had asked me how I feel and, and, and I'm gonna get into how I feel. Took a good friend of ours who raised money when he had the city college tragedy. A good friend of ours did things to make him popular in Harlem. Let him hang with us, be part of our crew the whole nine yards. Disrespected him and wouldn't help him. This is how I feel about him being locked up and going to jail. Some people they karma is so strong for what they do and what they did. The stuff that he did to Craig Mack. You understand what I'm saying? The stuff that he did to Black Rob and all those people in the spiritual world right now. His karma was about to catch up. It was bound to catch up with him. You understand what I'm saying? His karma was bound to catch up with him, brother. So... All these things that's going on right now, the learned behavior, what he got from these, these people who was not living spiritually correct with their behaviors and the things that they've done. He go and transfer and do that to people with the fact of all these people that he's hurt, that always helped him and been on his side and been there for him. What's happening to him now is one of the greatest tragedies that we're going to ever read about, bro. This is going to be one of the greatest tragedies that Shakespeare couldn't write in Richard. He couldn't write it in Macbeth. He couldn't write this shit in homie Romeo and Juliet. This is going to be one of the greatest tragedies of hip-hop along with Pac's death, along with Big's death. And he brought it on himself because he knew that he was wrong and he knew that he learned something that wasn't right. He no different from right and wrong, bro. You have a, you have a way to, to, to change. You know when something is right and when something is wrong and you know if you're wrong, you get help. He didn't choose none of that, bro. He chose to be to who he is. And now he gonna learn. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And here's a wild thought. What if this is just the beginning? Harry might have more secrets hidden away. And if they surface, his image as the rebel prince could be history. His reputation could take a serious hit and his deals and brand partnerships might start slipping away. 
There's even buzz that this could put strain on his relationship with Meghan, as their image as a power couple might take a big blow. My thoughts reading the 14-page indictment yesterday were that um, there is going to be, there are a lot of people in Hollywood who are probably worried about uh, which Diddy parties they were at and what was going on. Uh, that's not to say that they were necessarily even involved in any of the things uh, that are alleged by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But if you're at that party and it turns out that that's when uh, he set up one of these freak off uh, sex parties or that it was going on uh, in another room and you didn't know about it, there's a good chance <laughs> that you're going to be called by the U.S. Attorney's Office. If you're and certainly if you were involved. Um, you would get a call because they're going to want to know everything you want to know and may even want you to be a witness. I just think, you know, we're just starting to scratch the surface of what this case, uh, who it's, this case is going to touch and involve. And the, uh, and the, the feds have said that this is, remains an open investigation. There could be more charges for Diddy. There could be more charges for other people involved. Um, and usually the way this works is once they find out other people are involved or were witnesses, they bring them in and they sort of lean on them and it's sort of like you're going to cooperate with us or there's a possibility that you could face charges. So uh, this is going to be a, um, a, a slow developing uh, a case here because we're just getting started. I, and I don't see how this trial begins anytime before next year. There are a lot of wild allegations in those documents that came out yesterday, including 1,000 bottles of baby oil. What surprised you the most about what you read yesterday? Yeah, I mean, that, Brian, was a uh, was definitely an alarming uh, graph of the uh, indictment when you read that, that uh, when they raided, I believe it was the Miami home, where they found uh, 1,000 bottles of, and they said that these were items that were used uh, at the freak-offs. There were also uh, large numbers, uh, amounts of drugs, they said, cocaine, ketamine, Molly, uh, GHB, the rape drug. Um, so, you know, they said that the house, according to the feds, that was stocked for these parties that were going on. And then to read uh, their description of how uh, Diddy, they, as they say, lured women into joining these parties. And they say that he would meet them or lure them, get to know them and lure them in thinking they would think that there was going to be a romantic relationship with him. Uh, and then it would turn out that they would be at these freak offs uh, where they would be forced to have or drugged and forced to have sex with male uh, prostitutes that he was bringing in. And that's one of the counts that he's facing also is the uh, transportation of individuals for a purpose of prostitution. So really alarming allegations uh, laid out in court. Diddy, of course, has pled not guilty to all of it. And then the real kicker for him at the end of the day was that uh, the judge said you will be held without bail. And that means however long it takes for this trial to begin, he will be uh, in a federal detention facility in Brooklyn and not a very nice one. Um, in fact, a fairly notorious one. So you got to figure it he wants out of there and he wants out. As the British press is also going to have a field day with this. They might start questioning his choices and even his role as a father. Strangely enough, this scandal might end up pushing Harry closer to the royal family. If things get really bad, he may need their support to clean up this mess, possibly bringing him back under the royal fold for damage control. We're in this era right now, Charles, of men with power falling from grace in Hollywood. And when I think about Harvey Weinstein, you know, that was an open secret in Hollywood for a very long time about what, what he was doing um, with victims. It, was this also the case with, with P. Diddy that the people kind of knew this was going on? I will say this, there, there, were, there have always been whispers about um, his power. Uh, and how he wielded that power. Um, but I get, can't say I heard any whispers about these uh, these freak offs. And it's really um, alarming. You know, we were talking about it yesterday. One, these, you know, these parties had a lot of individuals. In fact, the U.S. Attorney's Office says that uh, the parties would sometimes go on for days. So there are a lot of individuals involved. Uh, and yet, th and they say this has been going on for more than 10 years. And yet, we didn't hear about that. So that means that all the people that were involved, according to the feds, 
were that he managed to keep them all quiet, that nobody would speak about it. And that does sort of speak to um, the kind of power he wielded and, and the fear that people had of him. We were also talking about the fact that, that um, the beating of Cassie, which was captured on the hotel surveillance video, that was, um, what, seven, six years ago. And alleged when Combs nobody didn't get his knew about it. Nobody heard about it. Think about all the people that were at the hotel who may have known about it, people who saw the surveillance video and never spoke about it. Uh, and like you said, we're in an era where when things like that happen, people speak out about it. So the fact that no one did uh, and that it only took this, really Cassie's lawsuit before any of this started coming out, it does kind of speak to um, the, the power that he wielded and that the fact that nobody wanted to cross him. And Charles, what do you think happens next in this case? Uh, members of uh, Sean Combs' family have been ordered to give up their passports. He's currently in jail. What do you think happens from here? Um, well, the, his attorneys, the first thing that's going to happen is today, his attorneys are going back into court. They have appealed the bail ruling. Uh, and like I said, I'm sure he wants out. And that's their first job right now is to get him out. They've offered a $50 million package for bail. Um, that was rejected yesterday, but they're going to take another swing at it today. Uh, and then after that, um, what happens, you know, look, you know, he did surrender his passport to his lawyer. We should say the way his, law, his team put it out originally, they made it sound like he had turned it over to the authorities. He had turned over his passport back in April to his lawyer, as did his children and his mother. And I, the, their point was they wanted to make the case to the court that, look, we're cooperating here. He is not a flight risk. Um, and they feel like that the U.S. Attorney's Office undermined that by raiding his hotel on Monday night and arresting him when they say he was in New York because he was more than willing to surrender. In fact, the plan was for him to surrender on Tuesday. And then, for some reason, the, uh, the feds decided to arrest him Monday night. Uh, Diddy's attorneys think they did that so that it would look like he wasn't cooperating, and then the judge would uh, deny him bail, which, as it turns out, is what happened. The drama is intense. These rumored Diddy Party videos have Harry's whole world on edge. His image, finances, and marriage could all take a hit. But here's the big question. Is this the end of Harry's rebellious era, or could he turn things around? If he can find a way to own up and come back stronger, it might just mark the beginning of a new chapter. The world is watching. What do you think? Is this the end of the Rebel Prince era or just the start of something new?